Hello everyone, The Flying Scotsman here and welcome to this video. This is the first real video of 2019 as, as far as I know, however it is still 2018 um, at the time of recording. It's actually December the 28th, 2018 at the time of recording. But I have a wee package that I got um, the other side of Christmas which um, I believe it's something that I've had one of before. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to unbox it. Now, obviously, as with other unboxing videos on my channel, certain set of uh, precautions apply. You know, we like to, you know, we, we like a laugh on this channel as much as uh, the next channel. But we also take health and safety concerns extremely seriously. Because that would be a European thing to do. And I know that Brexiteers are going to get uh, quite pissed off about European things. No, no I'll just get on. But um, anyway, um, <clears throat> so, safety concerns. If you think that um, it's, if well, okay, first of all, you know, we are going to be working with the uh, sharp blades, so, um, you know, need to be nice and alert, so always good to have a nice hot cup of tea. Good. Now, if you're the sort of person who think that um, Scotland's been forced to crash out of the EU as part of a no-deal Brexit is a good idea, even knowing that Scotland voted to remain within the European Union, then you're probably going to need to get a responsible adult to uh, do this for you. That in mind, let's uh, let's start um, cutting this up. I'm just thinking while I'm doing this, uh, I'm just uh, getting open, uh, getting this box open. There's a couple of videos that I want to do today, and it's just like, you know, how many 2018 videos are going to go into 2019, and am I going to end up just, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end up like in August, like, oh, here's a 2019 video. <laughs> Any, oh. <laughs> Well, this is what I get for wanting to be uh, European. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this kind of a plug before, like three. Is this a European thing? I'm pretty sure it's... Because I've never seen an earth plug on. On earth? Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> I've only ever seen the two pronged European adapters. Um, I, I, like I, said, I, I just really am not sure anymore. I, I just, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we have a power adapter. No, let's uh, let's have a look. Oh, lifting up. 
the machine. There we go. Okay, this is um, wow, slightly thinner than um, I would remember. And the uh, Acer badge is different. <laughs> Okay then, let me have a look see if there's anything else that, that is in this box. Nine. Okay. we have then well this is an Acer travel mate 290 I do believe um, and it would have came with Microsoft Windows XP home edition um, yep travel mate 290 series and it's uh, I did, yep 19 volts so let's have a wee tour before I do that though I'm gonna take this PC card out it's, um, oh, it's an Acer 4-in-1 card reader. Nice. So, what do we have? Well, we have on the left-hand side of the machine, we have a USB port. Infrared. For in what, uh, US, uh, PC card slot. Come on, Jay, you can do this. Sorry, it's, it's difficult to see here. Let me see if I can put a light on. Okay, so, microphone and headphone, a uh, microphone in, headphone out, Wi-Fi switch, left speaker, and then on the front we have the DVD-ROM drive, uh, it's also a CDRW, and you've got uh, three lights, lead catch, and then on the other side you have the right speaker, um, could be a battery, uh, no, no, I believe that's a, Hard disk caddy, uh, DCN, a vent, and on the back you have a screw, Kensington lock, printer, uh, IEEE 1284 printer port, VGA in, two more USB ports, modem, Ethernet, S video, mini uh, Firewire, IEEE 1394, and um, another screw. So, there you have it. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop this back in. It's quite, quite nice that they've, uh, that they've given me this. There we go. <clears throat> so, nice. And, and then it has Envy Link, whatever that is. Now the lid does look a wee bit battered and bruised, and uh, yes, oh my, this has ATI graphics, so it'll probably overheat and die. Uh, it's got a Centrino, it's uh, Travelmate 290, it's, apparently it has Intel Centrino mobile technology with a Pentium M 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, 855 M chipset is that? Intel Pro Wireless WLAN 15XGA TFT LCD ATI Mobility Radeon something or other 40 gig drive DVD ROM and something else <laughs> This laptop is worn It really is quite worn I would say But uh, what I am going to do is um, I'm going to borrow a plug 
and we'll plug this in and see what we can do. Um, we'll also see if I can find the power supply. There it is. Sorry, it's a bit crowded on this table at the moment. Oops. So, there you have it. Um, this laptop does not feature a webcam, HDMI, USB Type-C. Um, <laughs> RGB lighting. Touch screen. Or any other things that you might find on a modern day laptop. <clears throat> Just a shame this machine really is not in the best of conditions. James, I'm glad I knocked ten... Uh, I can't remind how much I got it for, but I know I got it for a wee bit under what the seller was wanting. So, yeah, I did get some money off. Okay, <clears throat> so plugged it in and we have a flashing light, so let's power it on and see what we get. So I believe it was a 280 that I used to have. And that came with a desktop Pentium 4, 2.8 gigahertz. Okay. So let's see what is actually in here. Apparently I'm logged in as user 2. I want to know what user 1 is. So this looks like it's got a basic install of XP. I would probably wager that this machine has not much, not got much RAM. Considering how long it's taken to load up my computer with the system properties or anything at all. Can I at least shut down? Ah, here we go. So, there's a couple of odd keys on here, there's a mouse pointer key and there's a key saying kank. I don't know what that is. I'm going to try the mouse pointer key first and it does nothing. What does a kank key do? Absolutely nothing!
DVD drive seems to come out. <clears throat> and like this particular model is the Acer Troublemate 292 LCI. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, it's one of these BIOSes. Great! Um, so it's a Troublemate 290 manufacturer named Acer. HDD model Samsung something or other. It's got 512 megs of RAM, of which 64 megs has been next for the VGA. Um, infrared ports enabled. Boot device, first boot device, floppy drive, second boot device, hard drive, third boot device, D CD, DVD. Uh, parallel port, legacy USB support, LCD auto dim. That's quite an advanced um, feature for the time. Well, I, I say it is. Apple Max had it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the setup default. And I'm going to enable the boot menu. And... Um, yeah. And yep, it is 1.5 gig. So, I want to go ahead and reinstall Windows XP. Now, I will be able to do this actually because I have the original restore disk set to this machine. So how about that? So, what I'm going to do for distribution only with an Acer PC, what do I have? I have Norton Antivirus 2003, that will kind of age your machine, it's probably 2003, late 2003 I would say. And I've got disk 2122, and I have disk 1. And some guys back up. <laughs> uh, distribution only with a new Acer. That's fine. So, what I'm going to do now is I am going to insert this DVD into the DVD drive. Um, There we go, and then I'm going to exit, save the changes, and away we go. And then boot from CD-ROM DVD. Oh, and here we go, start Windows 98, checking the status of your hard disk. This recovery CD has been provided to operate, programmed to only operate with your Acer system. It will not work with any other computer system. Please be aware that all software on the recovery CD is subject to the terms of the software license agreement that come packaged with your Acer system. Your use of the recovery CD means that you agree to all of the software license agreement terms. Personal files that are not safe to backup diskettes prior to using the recovery CD will be lost. Oh, so if I backed stuff up to my network or a USB drive, it, th these files will just go away, even if I burn them to a CD? Because this computer has a CD burner. Anyway, I'll read on. Um, we shall not be liable for any other incidental, special or consequential damages. Okay, that's... Yeah. Well. Uh, please remove the system CD, then insert the recovery CD disk 1. Please make sure you are already closed the CD-ROM door, then press C for continue. Con continuance? Continuance? What is this?
If you can still access your hard dr disk drive, back up all your important data before performing the recovery. Please type C continuance to continue. So it's not just continue, it's it's continuance. Okay, I, I don't know what this is doing. Here we go. Thought there'd be a GUI. Uh, PowerQuest Easy Restore has detected an error 116 on the partition starting at sector. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the LBA value is such and such, and the CHS value is such and such. The LBA and CHS values must be equal. Um, PowerQuest Easy Restore has verified that the LBA value is correct and can, res and can fix the CHS value. Would you like PowerQuest e re Easy Restore to fix this error? Yeah. The partition table error was successfully fixed. Okay, so uh, I guess... I guess this is it. The uh, system's going to restore now. And now we are on to disc two. I did have an issue with disc one initially, but um, I'd found that there was actually <laughs> some, uh, it, it needed a bit of a clean. <sighs> there seemed to be a crumb of some sort on it. So uh, the restore failed the first time around pretty early on in. I'm hoping though that um, it will be fine now. So what we'll do is we'll try CD-ROM2. And then hopefully it should work. Okay, so as you've just seen, I believe the restore has now finished. So it's now saying, please remove the recovery CD, then insert the system CD. Please note, please make sure you are already close to CD-ROM door and press continuance. <clears throat> I will press continuance. So now it's saying, please wait. Okay, so the disc has been ejected and I have a notice saying, please remove the compact disc and press any keys to reboot the system. I'm just going to press C because that's what I've been pressing for continuance. Free service pack to Windows XP. The memories. Uh, uh, uh. 
You know, it's really funny because when Windows XP Service Pack 2 came out, I had a few problems with it on a <clears throat> on a couple of systems, mainly printers. The color profile fished itself up. For a long time, on my mother's computer, I could not use, well, we could not have Service Pack 2, so we just had Service Pack 1. Right, okay, no volume. That's disconcerting. Is there a volume knob somewhere? Oh well, let's uh, let's just uh, get this sorted. Right, okay. United Kingdom, United Kingdom, and then keyboard layout. time zone that I'm in is Greenwich Mean Time. Computer's name Okay, and then a lot of OEMs didn't do this. They did not put this step in setup. What is your administrator password? That step should have always been there. Because a lot of, well, especially on XP Home, a lot of systems found themselves without administrator passwords. Which meant if you had a restricted user account, you could just literally log in as administrator. Job done. Wow, Acer, you are very thorough. No, this computer is not part of the domain. Um, yes, this computer will connect through a local area network or home network. No, I do not wish to register with Microsoft. I'll put my name in. Your computer is configured for internet access. Oh, nice. I like the uh, desktop. <coughs> yeah, I thought that would happen. I've decided if I can find a gig of RAM for this machine, that's what's going in there. Thank you. 
ah, there's stuff to do. It's a sys prep kind of a thing. I'm surprised it decide. I'm surprised it um, wanted me to fill out the configuration information for XP just now. Then. Well, then that's how some machines work. Some machines will sys prep a system and then run the out of the box experience. Some machines will do it the other way round. This one's one of those that does it the other way round, I guess. So I think what's happening is a bunch of updates are being installed, looking at um, these queue numbers. Oh, VGA drivers. I think I'm just going to leave this alone. I'm not going to touch a thing until it tells me to. That's the best thing you can do. Right, so I think I will, um, I think I will come back once this is uh, done doing what it's doing. Ah, I think I was right to wait. Yes, I was. Look, we have um, Acer Launch Tool, and it's a way installing pretty much everything. Let's clean up. <clears throat> Progress, NTFS. After five seconds, the system will reboot automatically. Right. <clears throat> yes, folks. Windows XP, obviously, for, for a lot of people, was at um, the turning point from the 9X to NT platforms. So, as a result, what you had was um, some of the um, restore programs would install, would uh, format the hard drive, put the image on a FAT32 partition, and then convert it during the uh, sysprep process. But um, I think, as obviously, as time has went by, images are now on NTFS drives. Okay, right, I... One of my drivers seems to be installed. I think this is kind of done as well, this is a bit, yeah. Cannot install this hardware. So this restored disk did say it was for the Acer Travel 8290 series. But um, none of the drivers have been installed, so I don't know what to tell you about that. Now, I wonder what would happen if I inserted the system CD just now.
it would make a hideous noise, is what it would do. Um, <clears throat> oh nice, a web page. Welcome to the Acer System Series System CD. Um, features a collection of information and setup wizards to help you set up your Acer System Series easily. Right. Let's try install. Software installation. Select the software you want to install from the left page. Windows XP driver. Let's see. So it wants me to install everything manually. Nice one, eh, sir? Really well done on your part. This is probably going to respond back with something along the lines of, Well, we did try to install it, but it seems that you have the wrong laptop for this CD. So, well... You can. Now bolt your rocket. Let's see. Um, install display driver here. Let's see. Ah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did wonder. I did wonder. Um. This will be quite interesting to see if any of the other stuff installed. Installing modem drivers. And who remembers this version of Internet Explorer? And who remembers when we had a media button? That was pretty much useless, was it? Acer, Acer system, Intel Pentium M. Well, at least the um, at least the uh, device manager actually comes up now. I forget what I was doing here.
Well, let's see if I can at least get Lan on here. No Lan? No networking? Nothing? Yes, networking. Oh, and apparently I've got to install um, the wireless stuff manually. So let's do that and let's see if I can get the modem stuff to install. Although that's probably going to be a bit of a folly because it probably should have installed if it was going to. That's a horrible sound. So apparently I've got to go install the software automatically recommended and it will then do it, I guess. Or not. Sometimes that doesn't happen though. Um, so sometimes you might need to give it a wee bit of encouragement. Um, CD Maker, FIR. Uh, I think it's uh, the Pro Set. <coughs> At least according to the spec sticker, it is anyway. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. I'll need to use Snappy Driver install. Yikes, this is not a UK keyboard. Although I should have guessed by the, the power adapter. I did, I did wonder about some of these keys. Um... And yes, it does seem to work on Windows XP Service Pack 1, which is quite good. So we've got an Ajir Systems AC97 modem, Railtech AC97 audio, ATI Mobility Radeon 96 or 9700, nice! Uh, Intel Pro Wireless, um, 
And then of course the latest in uh, chipset drivers. Um, Railtech LAN. Infrared. Ah, and of course I've installed the Alps touchpad driver. Right, so it seems that while this will, this restore disk will sort of work, um, in that um, you'll get, uh, <coughs> uh, you know, all the software restored and you'll get a nice Acer image, you won't necessarily get the drivers that you are hoping for because it seems that these recovery CDs are a wee bit more specific than they would like to let on. So, the 290 series. I, I would have thought that that would have included this machine, the 292. So, yeah. <laughs> really don't know what to tell you with that one. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let these drivers away and install. And uh, I'm going to install some programs and service packs and then I will be back. Okay folks, it is now 2019 at the time of recording. And um, well, as this computer has a good graphics card in it, I thought it would be a good idea to, um, well, see what it's like with a game. So I have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas running on here. So, let's see if I can uh, cause any trouble. I don't know any cheats for this, uh, just offhand. So, um, I'm just going to net... Oh, gems. Nothing. Uh, a taxi, maybe? Yeah, let's, let's nick that. Oops. Fuck it, let's take this lemon. So this plays uh, actually quite nicely. I'm not sure if it's a 96 or 9700 in here, but it's the driver reckons it's both. It's um, ATI Mobility Radeon 9600 or 9700. Whatever it is, this is playing really quite beautifully. And uh, that, that is a good point about this laptop. And um, it's not actually cooked itself. Oh dear, I might have gotten the police a wee bit upsetted. Oh sugar. Well, that went well. <laughs> Should we get thumbulance?
Well then. Ah, downtown Los Santos. I can't remember. Can oh look! Oysters, look in. Would you look at that? CJ can swim. Well, that's the uh, GTA San Andreas, and it runs beautifully on this uh, machine. This machine, I mean, okay, it's only in VGA mode, but um, hey, still, it's it's a game that came out, um, but actually, a couple of years after this, uh, well, a year and a half after this laptop would have been new, pretty much, the very least. It's pretty good. <clears throat> what says VPU recover? Oh, that's a bit strange. <clears throat> that is a bit strange because the um, it seemed to me that the graphics were doing fine. It's oh well. Software-wise, apart from uh, San Andreas, I have the usual um, lot of applications installed on this machine. <clears throat> like I've said before, this machine is a wee bit on the slow side. So, I am going to install another half gig of uh, memory. But apart from that, this system is pretty good for what it is, I must say. So, I'm actually really quite glad I've got this. The ATI graphics on it makes it um, quite a system to have. Quite a nice uh, computer to actually have in my arsenal there. So, on that note, I think I will end this video now. So, with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and please join me for my next video. Cheerio, bye.